facilities of the nation's station, WLW Cincinnati, the National Broadcasting Company takes pride in presenting another Stan Kenton concert in miniature. Music in the contemporary design, a direct expression of the field of American jazz. NBC hopes you'll enjoy the fresh approach of Stan Kenton and this group of creative musicians. Here now is your conductor, modern America's man of music, Stan Kenton. Thank you very much, everybody. I uh, uh, wanted this evening eliminate quite a bit of talk and get into the thing because we have a lot of music here to play this evening. And uh, the main thing is we want to start off with something that has a nice, happy sound to it here. So there's nothing happier than something designed to a, to a beat that spins a bit. Here's a light thing. It was done by Jerry Mulligan. It's a thing that's called Limelight, and it's absolutely necessary that we have a kickoff, fellas. Here's the beat. Ready? Enthusiasm there was expressed by, first of all, the alto saxophone of Vinnie Dean, and next a newcomer to the orchestra that we're just welcoming into the group this evening. It's a, it's a kick to have him in the organization, the tenor saxophone player from Philadelphia that we've looked forward to getting into the group here, a guy known as Richard Kamuka. And of course, you heard the, the uh, trumpet of Connie Gondoli and some trombone by Bob Burgess. Uh, speaking of trombones, there's an arrangement here that starts off with some real warm, melting, velvet-type sounds here written to a standard tune, and it's always nice to hear a standard melody, possibly treated in the, the jazz idiom. Here's a rather light version of the thing that we do call Street of Dreams.
Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it was discussed a great deal this evening because of the importance of this next chap that we, we might call it uh, Lee Conant's night here on the, the concert in miniature because uh, tonight is Lee Conant's first, first evening with the orchestra, and I, I'd like to express myself. I'd like to ask you to come over, Lee, first of all. Would you mind saying hello to the people here that are listening into this affair. I just said that I thought that a good thing would be if we called this broadcast this evening Lee Conant's Night because uh, I'm very thrilled about your, your being with the organization and getting finally with us. Thank you, Sam. I'm very happy to be with you. Uh, you know, uh, uh, mostly, Lee, uh, a young musician dreams of uh, playing with a name band, and he generally has some band picked out, and he, he says, if I could ever get with that band, I'm sure I feel like I had achieved my goal. This situation is a bit reversed, I think, because I have uh, said for a long time, if I could just get Lee Konitz in the organization, I think that I would have achieved my goal. So I think instead of a musician being thrilled to be with this orchestra, I think that I should say that the leader is more thrilled to have you as a musician with the orchestra, if I made myself clear. <laughs> Lee, uh, because the uh, distance between us, we haven't had a, a time really to prepare anything in a, in a tailor-made fashion like I like to do here with, the, with you fellas that express yourselves on the jazz idiom, but... Uh, we have a, a little background thing here that I'd like to uh, play and rather play and have you improvise here for the moment to the uh, melody and the chord progressions of Blue Moon. Very good. Now if we can get the rhythm section's attention. Gentlemen, would you care to start a beat, please? We're playing... Uh, uh, okay, Lee, it's yours. Thank you, Lee Conant, very much. I, 
I must say that I'm sincere and I hope that you'll have a long, happy relationship with the orchestra. We want you for a long time. The 1st of November this year marks the advent of really the first, we'll say, long works by the Kenton Orchestra, either this orchestra or the Innovations of Modern Music Group. It is a thing that is called The City of Glass. It was written by Bob, Bob Grettinger, the fellow that there's been so much heated controversy over in the music business. The chap, some people say it's not music, some people say it's great music, some people say I can't find the melody, some people say there is no melody, listen for sound. This is one of the first things that Grettinger ever did for the orchestra about five years ago. It's based upon a standard melody, you go to my head, but I really can't be fair to the melody when I introduce it as such. I think I should just say here once again as a variation on a theme done in the jazz world here by the orchestra. It's Bob Grettinger's expression on you go to my head. on the theme of you go to my head I'll admit in spots it is a challenge but to find the melody but it, it makes for wonderful music here uh, Bill I'd like to ask you to over the microphone ladies and gentlemen we 
We want you to meet here a guy that is certainly not new. I can't say I'm introducing him for the first time because he has done a lot of speaking, a lot of talking in the concerts as well as other programs and even been on concert in miniature before. He's one of the more important of the arranging staff here and uh, I'd like you people to meet him. We uh, are going to play a number of yours here, Bill. As you know, it was scheduled this evening. I thought it'd be awfully nice if you came in and introduced it because it's nice to have the people meet a musician that not only knows what he's writing and, and, and feels what he's writing, but a guy that can explain what he's writing. Well, this, this tune is a pretty simple, happy thing. It features the solo work of Conti Condoli on trumpet, uh, Lee Konitz on alto, and Frank Rossellino on trombone. The main little melody is stated by the three unison trombones, and then there's a little contrapuntal thing that the unison saxophones play. There's some big band brass work in the middle, and the thing ends uh, pretty similar to the way it started with the unison trombone riff backed by the contrapuntal saxophone. Well, Bill, so that I don't give you the wrong, or rather you give the wrong impression, I'd like to announce the title of this number because it has to do with your name. We've named the thing Bill's Blues, okay? called Bill's Blues. You just met Bill Russo, and this evening, you people, a lot of you have known him before. You've met Lee Konitz, a rather important figure in the modernist world of, of Alva saxophone playing conceptionists. Also, Richard Kamuka is here with the orchestra tonight. We want you to know that next week's concert in miniature will come from Fort Sheridan, Illinois. The orchestra closes here in Cincinnati on Thursday night, and we'll proceed toward Chicago, where we open the, the Blue Note, which is one of the more fabulous jazz clubs of the country in Chicago. These concerts will continue on throughout the fall here, and we hope that you people have enjoyed them a great deal because we get quite excited doing them and, and presenting our music, which, after all, is just a, a short portion of the, of the field of jazz. Uh, Mr. Lynn. Yes, Sam? Uh, this is Ken Lynn of the National Broadcasting Company here. Uh, Ken, you know, it's always been said I'm complimented a great deal. They say, what a wonderful talker. Are you a radio announcer or not, or you should get into radio? And 
Uh, you know how confident and secure I feel in radio. I feel just as secure as, uh, as I possibly can feel and left me here. I believe that I would have panic that would grip me, uh, something more than I could explain. So it's great here to have you close by because I want to toss this microphone to you. All right, Stan. Thank you very much. Stan, we're very glad to have you with us this evening. And uh, we hope that the folks out there across the nation are enjoying the Stan Kenton concert of the miniature, which is coming your way from the Queen City of Cincinnati. All right, Stan, and now if we just have a little bit of theme going there, why we'll sort of be getting on our way. Gentlemen, NBC has brought you another Stan Kenton concert in miniature. Our broadcast tonight was brought to you direct from Moonlight Gardens at Coney Island, just outside the Queen City of Cincinnati, Ohio. NBC has made a reality another concert in miniature. The program designed to bring you closer to the modern opinion of American jazz. We hope you found Stan Kenton and his orchestra refreshing and hope you'll welcome them back to your homes again.